Thank you. Thank you. Ah, it's so good to be here in front of you guys. Y'all seem like a great crowd. So, may as well get started. Hey, the president's gonna be white again soon. Who's excited? Go. Uh, right there. Oh, I bet you are. I bet you are. Yeah, you look like you say the N word with the E R at the end. <laughs> wait for the president to be white again because I like America when it's white people's fault. I love it that way. I love it that way. I can't wait for the day to hear white dude go, they're fucking up the country. So I go, no, y'all are fucking up the country. Can't wait for that. Now, I feel like when the president's white again, they might start to care about the presidential security. Because I don't know if you know, but just in the last year and a half, Obama's had three people break into the White House. Three regular people. <laughs> not three assassins, not three members of ISIS. Get your feet off the stage. He's had <laughs> into the White House. How does this keep happening? Because that don't happen to Queen Elizabeth. You know what I'm saying? They keep getting, you really gonna keep fucking with me, huh? You gonna stop playing with me, I'm dead serious, please. Never work a real job, you know what I'm saying? So I get very defensive, just keep foot off. I'll be done with my minutes. Thank you, glasses. so welcome. they do this, if you notice, like, it must suck to realize as the president that Cologne and Macy's is better security than you do. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever tried to steal Cologne and Macy's, but it's impossible. <laughs> A year ago, I walked past the Calvin Klein and I thought to myself, you know, I wonder if I could get that in my pockets. When I turned around, it was three dudes with guns in front of me. I was like, where the hell did you come from? We used to work for the president, now get on the ground. <laughs> and another thing you'll notice is that our media cares nothing about Obama, because every time they break into the White House, they put a map of the White House <laughs> on the news. And they use this little red line to show you how far the person got inside the White House. And then they give you very specific instructions in case you want to do it yourself. It's always, well, as you can see, he took the left entrance of the White House, where security is the lightest. After getting on the lawn, he walked up to the gate and he punched in the code, 885 getting inside, he made a left, he went down the stairs, he made a right, and he was close enough to shoot Michelle. What are you doing? <laughs> and people have made attempts on, on Obama's life before. This one woman drove past the White House and shot at the windows trying to kill our president. Now how much would that suck if the first black president got killed in a drive-by? <laughs> That messes up the story for everybody. <laughs> hey, little black boy. <laughs> you can be anything in this country. You can even be president. And still get killed like a rapper in 1995. <laughs> I'd rather not go through that. So, who do we have to come after Obama? I think Hillary's gonna win because all her opponents suck. Like, I, I, if you Republican, I'm sorry. Y'all got a bad hand this go around. <laughs> They're taking Donald Trump serious. Why? Why do we tell, why is he allowed to run? First of all, Donald Trump cannot be president for a few reasons, but most importantly, he can't be president because he wears a toupee. <laughs> You cannot be the president of 2016 and you wear a toupee. Want to know why? We're the bullies of the free world. You can't bully anybody and you wear a toupee. <laughs> Me and the United Nations screaming at people, stop making weapons of mass destruction. Man, shut the fuck up before we turn on these fans in here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Just saying, that might not be the best idea. <laughs> they ready to change our money. Did you hear about this? They would like to put a woman's face on one of the, on one of the bills. Word. Yeah, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. They were talking about the twenty dollar bill at first, right? And one of the ladies they said, they said, you know what? How about Harriet Tubman? Maybe we could put Harriet Tubman's face on the twenty dollar bill. All right, but you do realize in America we use paper money for trade. Harriet Tubman used to be a slave. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't feel comfortable trading slaves. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, my ancestors didn't die for that shit. <laughs> and Harriet Tubman is famous for freeing slaves. I feel like if you put a Harriet Tubman 20 in the cash register, she would just annoy all the other money in the cash register. <laughs> Every time you close it, she coming up with escape routes and shit. <laughs> and Dawn, I was gonna get us out of here. <laughs> Making screaming from the other side. I freed you people years ago. <laughs> also, <laughs> oh, you finally got it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so, if they made a Harriet Tubman 20, you do realize that the Andrew Jackson 20 would still be in circulation. I don't know if you know Andrew Jackson's history, but he used to like to have sex with slaves <laughs> against their will. <laughs> his 20 being put on top of the Harriet Tubman 20. <laughs> he and the cash register like, just like old times, man. <laughs> just like old times. <laughs> now sing me one of them songs. <laughs> And then you hand me back a bunch of white dudes <laughs> calling it change. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's just weird. Just weird. <laughs> so I gotta go. I'm a young dude, 22, and I'm trying to like, like I'm dating. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I like being single, you know what I'm saying? And I'm single currently because my last girlfriend, she broke up with me. Now, when she did that, I lied to her. She's like, Nico, it's over. I was like, all right, I understand it's over. So I hope you move forward, and I hope you find nothing but happiness. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> she broke up with me. Why would I want her to find happiness? That's ridiculous. I want her to know way around happiness. <laughs> when you break my heart, I want you surrounded by struggles and STDs. That's, <laughs> That's it. I want crushed dreams and burning sensations. You understand? <laughs> and my ex, I found out she was a piece of garbage. I learned it before. No, listen, hear me out. <laughs> Before she broke up with me, brother, she cheated on me with my best friend. Oh. No, no, it gets better. Because they had a kid together. It gets better. He's a deadbeat dad. He walked out on her and the kid. But it gets even better than that. Because now she posts all of her struggle statuses on Facebook. And I like every last one. Every last one of them. I've made more profiles to like those statuses more than one time. So I think that's it. You guys have been amazing. I'm Nico White. Thank you. Goodbye.